All right, pothead, since you refuse to be to sell me any any of the good stuff before freaking going to the final battle, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a shit all over your granddad's porch. Okay, so crit. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Cash Couple Gaming Play as Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we conquered the Savage Labyrinth and got the final shard of the, tri of the Triforce of Courage. And I keep hitting the wrong button. Next, this episode, we are going to go back to the Tower of the Gods. And basically, we are going to go back, back, and find Zelda. You, 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 you will... Oh. oh, okay. I thought I glitched for a moment there. Yeah, I, for okay, I forgot the Triforce of Courage reassembles when you hop back into Carl. <laughs> We're on the home stretch here this game. Yep. Shards you have collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. Uh, yeah, what what he said. So, we're gonna just warp our way over there. I'm fully stocked up on fairies. I still have Grandma's Soup, which restores health and magic. Which is good, because I... I am There's a, an annoying boss coming up that I'm not looking forward to. Oh man, imagine being in, in, in a boat like that while it's being taken up by a cyclone. Yeah, I think I'm seasick now. Just spew all over the place. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Two things that remind me of vomit. A boat and twirling around in the air. Yeah. Not a good combination. I bet, I imagine the tilt where the tilt to roll wasn't very kind to you. Yep, threw up on it once. Horrible. <laughs> Well Mate. done, Donkus. You Mate. must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. Made two other girls throw up. They were sick out of their minds. Ah, yeah, well, those situations where someone vomits because they can't stand the sight of it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, even I feel a bit nauseated by that sometimes, too. But, oh, shit! It's on my hand! How am I going to tell Grandma I got a tattoo? Okay, yeah, so the Triforce of Courage has accepted us as a true hero, and we are now known as the Hero of Winds. Donkus, Hero of Winds! Yeah, that name kind of took away from the uh, awesomeness, but oh well. Let's see. Do do do. Back down we go. And, yep. So, we are off. We shall go see how Princess Zelda is doing and, uh oh. The fucking statue's broken. I like that. I like they're going to church in New York or something. That's not a good sign. When the statue of the Hero of Time is broken and the, the the gateway is open. Oh boy, this does not look good. I'm gonna vandalize this place. Pretty good. Mm hmm. See, Zelda is still there. Okay, I'm just gonna jump down. And, uh oh. Wait, what's this? Hey, Zelda, you okay? Is it, oh shit. Oh boy. Fucking Ganny found this place. Taking your precious Zelda. Ah, crap. Ring of Fire and. Okay, these, these, are some, these are some tough looking dark nuts. Well, nothing I haven't fought before. So let's go, fuckers. Oh yeah, I forgot that they take like they take two because you have to destroy their capes. <laughs> yeah, enemies will actually um, hit hit other enemies too. Friendly fire. Huh? Friendly fire. Yeah, basically. Okay, that's 
make this a little easier on, on myself by whittling down your numbers. I don't do the parry attack when it's like when they when they're actually armed. There we go. His armor off now. You call yourself Ganondorf's elite guard? You two are pathetic. Huh. I guess I killed the other one without realizing it. Oops. Oh well. That's a good thing. Give me some goodies. Give me some good stuff. I had that song stuck in my head, the burning, 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 <laughs> in the ring of fire. Yep. In the ring of fire. Every time I see the, every time I see fire in this game, I think of the song We Didn't Start the Fire. Mm -hmm. cool. And then I think of the uh, that episode of The Office where fucking Ryan starts a fire in the in the office by burning a cheese pita. Mm. Remember that episode? Mm -hmm. That's worse than the asshole at work who makes broccoli in the microwave and stinks up the whole place. Well, broccoli doesn't smell that bad depending on how it's on how you do it. Like mm -hmm. if you boil broccoli, yeah, it's gonna stink to high heaven. But okay, so this area is like the rest, the rest of Hyrule Castle. Technically, I could have gone this way earlier, but we couldn't because there was a barrier in the way. But now we have the fully powered master sword. So we're gonna shatter it! barrier surrounding like Hyrule Castle here, preventing us from going to this area over here. Right. Now that we're down here, there's going to be a few enemies. Uh, nothing major though. Uh, let me figure, re reconfigure my, um, inv my um, inventory here. Uh, Always good to have the grappling hook handy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, little pea hats. I like that when you use a hook shot on them, they just lose their little feather hat things, you know? They're done for. Pretty much. This is the path of the next dungeon? Yeah, the final dungeon, actually. Mm. Yeah, I love how fast the hook shot is in this game. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, in other games, the hook shot it moves fast, but it's also a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. Like... Like, look at that. It was like in a heartbeat. Perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. Just fucking fuck off, Moblin. You can die with a sword in your ass. Let's see. Oh yeah, I was actually mistaken by the way. If you collect like 20 skull necklaces, you can trade them to that old, to the uh, the previously homeless man. And he'll give you a treasure chart that gives you a piece of heart. That was one of the heart pieces I found when I went uh, heart piece hunting. Okay, now I believe there's another dark nut up ahead. Da, da, da. Yep, there he is. Yeah. Come here, buddy. You and your flashy red armor are going to die. damage to me. No. He's a guard, so he's probably tougher. We got a long 
to jump. Phil, the elite guard is, is supposed to be tougher than a regular guard. I know that. Come here. You want to fight? Good. Oh, they know better. Sometimes it's just your rhythm. If he gets you a few times, you're going to struggle a little bit. Yeah, true, true. I'm gonna break some of these, see if I can get, get a couple of hearts. Alright, so we have to... That is a gaudy looking door. Alright, so what I like about this dungeon is that it's less focused on puzzles and it's more like refighting the same bosses. I mean, there are some puzzles getting to the boss chambers, but... It's just a gauntlet, pretty much. Basically, except you're not going through them head-to-head uh, -head in a row, you're just, um... You're going each different door. You go through, like, a little obstacle course, and then you go through... It's kind of like the Zont battle in the Twilight Princess. A little bit, except Zont just kind of warps you to different locations. Right. Okay, so this is the Wind Temple one. Okay. Same concept. It's like a final, final exam. Everything you've learned. Oh yeah, that's that's fucker. Shit. All right, you fucking two can't stand looking fucker. Where are you? Damn it. Cross. No, I'm not trying to get across. I'm just trying to fucking air, shove an arrow into his damn face. Damn it! Stupid spikes are in the way. What's that thing do if you pound it all the way down? Huh? What's that thing do if you're standing on it and it's pounded all the way down? Does it make a little bridge or something? Uh, no. It's it flings me up. Uh, Hang on, I am fucking just. Got plenty of help. I'm, I'm fucking all over the place right now. It's driving me crazy. Street group. Maybe stand on top. So, well, he moves, I see. Yeah, they Once. change their locations just like the Wizard Robes and other <laughs> Zelda games. I don't even see how you can get up through that. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and wait for him to appear. I don't have to deal with this, this, this fucking nonsense while I'm trying to glide across. Shot. There were hookshot marks up there. Jeez, where the hell is my, where the hell are my thoughts? All right, so in here we should be fighting Mulgara again. So this is it. This is the f done after this. Um. Well, you have to do this four times, but yes. Four times each. Four mm -hmm. bosses. What? You gotta beat each of these bosses four times. Well, no, you're just fighting the same boss that you fought in the past. It's just there's four of them you have to go through. Oh, okay. Right, it's it's more like a memory fight, you know? Yeah, that's a lot of all the games are like that. Oh, before I forget, equip the hero's charm. It's a cosmetic change, and I don't really care for that, but it tells you how much energy the boss has and how long it'll take you to kill him. Right. So the four main bosses you have to fight through this dungeon are Mogera, Jalhala, Kale Deimos, the big ass flower, okay. and Goma. And then there's four in the next one. No. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, that's why you just try to take out the little ones. Because they will fuck you up if you're not careful. Like, they'll make targeting this this guy's tongue a bitch, you know? Yeah, it looks tough. It is 
a little tricky if you don't if you're not sure what you're doing or if this is your first time doing it, you know. Normally fight sunshine always wash off as much ah. as you can so there's little <laughs> that guy startled me. Those little floppers won't bother you. Floppy things won't bother you. Yeah. So what now, I'm sorry? I learned when you told me just spray everything with water and all the sludge with water before you do a boss thing. Oh yeah, the the blue the, the jelly blob things. Yeah, because those little things that pop out of them really bother you. Yeah, that's a hindrance, especially when you're like um having to aim. Yeah. Pops up out of nowhere like that. Yeah! It reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus a little bit when he does that. A little bit. Which will be our next game, speaking of which, so stay tuned. Oh, uh, yeah, looking forward to watching you play. Yeah, it should be fun. Mm -hmm. Might get mad at times, but it's all pretty fun. Okay. Oh, okay so I, I got a hang of it. Get the hang of it. It's pretty. Yep. Well, I mean, it the concept is easy. It's like overcoming the boss. That's a little tricky, you know. Yeah, finding his weak point so you can exploit the weaknesses. Sometimes, sometimes just finding the boss is hard. Yeah, I think that's one of the harder parts. Remember Hydros? It's like it took me like maybe twenty minutes to find this damn his damn lair. Ooh, joy pendant. <laughs> see how we doing on time? Sixteen. Yeah, I'd say after after this one we'll uh, take a break. Okay. Let's see. Okay, leaf. I think one day I'm gonna live stream 64. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting the hang of that game now. I think I heard a cursed bubble just now. Oh. Shit. So I always get screwed up on this one. It's like it's the one that always screws me somehow. Yeah, it's tricky. Mm-hmm. There's these water jars, but it's like Yeah. Let's try this again. Shortened my length of rope, so hopefully I can do this. Okay, good. And this part, I'm sure there's a way to do it. That's not the way that I'm doing it, but I don't know. I've just always gotten across this way, right. where I get the, to the top of this thing, and then I just use my leaf to make the to make it the rest of the way. Come here. Stop, drop, and roll. No hearts. Oh well. Gotta get that hard drive pretty soon. Oh yeah, that's right. You said you wanted to get a hard drive once we were done with the playthrough so we could store the, the game, the video files, right? Store the video files on there and get them off the main computer. Alright, remember this guy? Oh yeah. It's Goma, our very first boss. And just like last time, even though Valu is technically not here, there's just like a memory room. Just like last time, it's just a whole rinse and repeat deal, you know? And you crush him. Yep. Yep. I think he was the first, second boss. Hmm? I think he was the first boss. He was. Well, he's not the first boss you see, but he's, but he's definitely the first one you fight. Yeah, early boss, for sure. It's too bad I can't have a rematch with with Mega Ultra Chicken. Right. <laughs> I'll have to do Link's Awakening, too. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the uh, Switch version, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you want to you wanna play that one? Yeah, I could play that one. Yeah, you've actually beaten that one. I haven't yet. Close to it, yeah. Final boss is tricky, though. Like, a lot of these older Zelda games, the bosses were a lot more difficult because, uh, you know. Controls. 
Well, they were still kind of testing the waters with, with certain control aspects, you know? Alright. There we go. Alright, so now he's gonna break away his armor. It's like, oh, It's like, that's it. The kid gloves come off. Now I'm shrimpy. Never understood why he. Oh, he's like looking for me. I never, I never really see did that. Okay, you got me that time. That's all you're gonna get. I stand corrected. Damn, I did not struggle this much fighting him the first time. Jack of this last part dungeon. Well, I think I was just having a delayed response with the buttons. No matter, he's dead. What time are we at now? 21. Okay. Actually, I think we got time for another boss. Hmm. I don't really worry so much about time. It's, you know, more like content. Like, when's a good stopping point? Eh, true. Uh, let me see where we are time-wise once we get uh, done with the, th with the third one, you know? Okay. So that was, okay, so let's see, so that was Mulgara, that was Goma, so over here must be Kale Demos. Yeah, I forgot the way you tell is because the doors have different, like, designs on them, see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, this one's got vines wrapped around it, like the Forest Haven. This part's a little tricky. There we go. Yeah, you kind of wonder, how does Ganon have basically a four, like, uh, a, spi a spiky forest, lava, giant sand, and basically a, a, a massive tomb all in the same castle? Yeah, they did well. It's like a Legends of the Hidden Temple, and each room's a different theme. I remember you mentioned that before with like Olmec or something, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I like this. I like the forced theme. Alright. You really need to make a game where you build your own cell of dungeons or something. Yeah, that would be interesting, but it's not easy. It's like those dungeons take a good amount of planning, you know? <laughs> Alright, let me see if I let me see what I can filch from these P hats before I go in. I play it. I play other people's before I make my own. I want to see like what they do. Okay, you can follow me in this. Magic. It's good. I like to have a full, full magic bar for I, for I run in. All right. So up next is Kali Kali Demos, or as I should have been calling him, Flowey the Flower. Oh yes. Mhm. Mm Gotta yank his tentacles off. Uh, the ones overhead, yeah. Like an Okami look to it. Uh, yeah, I love, I love that game Okami. I look forward to when we start playing it for the channel. Yeah, I'm gonna probably try to play that so I know what's going on. Yeah, that's a good one to play. It's like, it's all centered around like Japanese mythology. There's different characters alluding to different stories in that game. Good idea, you know? Yeah, if you look right online, I'm sure you can find like guidelines on um, guidelines on what different characters represent. Right. I can never escape him before he does that. Like yeah. seriously, I, not once have I ever managed to get away from him before he swallows me up and spits me out like that. You got so much. 
I know, but it's like... that every time? Yeah, cut down all the tentacles. It's sort of reminiscent of Baronade's boss fight. A little bit. You know, the Vaccarina of Time. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you use the boomerang, and you have to get him to let go of the ceiling in order to really attack him. I don't know how the camera angle changes there, though, because it always, like, impedes my ability to kind of see where I'm going. Right. Alright, so that was... Calais Alright. See, where are we, where are we time-wise? 25 minutes. Yeah, let's screw it. Let's just do all four of them. Let's do it. This one's a little bit trickier, I remember. Like the little the obstacle we have to go through here. Right. I, man, these book columns are dropping joy pendants like crazy. Cause I remember we had to use like a black choo choo to um well you'll see. Actually wait. Oh yeah, you, you again. Yeah, this is a really nice gun for me. Really good gun. That still freaked me out. I, I guess my best bet is to just go through, go through like preliminary first, and then. Barry, I got third degree burns. Come on. Okay, stop screaming like a fan, girl. Ugh, God. I think part of the reason why Green Heads freak me out is just because they remind me of zombies. Yeah, they're, they're the closest thing to zombies that there are in the, in this, in the games, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, you like clip through the wall for a second there. Alright, now let's see. If I recall. Yes, that's right. I remember now. You had to use a choo-choo, but I saw some jars back there, so I'm just going to grab a jar and run through. This is why I ran through here initially. So I can just grab this jar. Yeah, like, out of all the obstacle courses, I kind of like this one. I mean, it's a little tedious, but it's like Gives you more gives you more to think about, you know? Close. Lots of health in these tombs. Yeah, see there's one of the black choo choos. the other one, bring it over here, and then, and then deal with the Poe there, because I can get around the choo-choos with, with little problem, you know? Yeah. Alternatively, you can use the choo-choos as your paperweight, but, you know. Right. So 
I'm just gonna run right through. I don't care how much head trauma Link's take takes this time. It's running straight through. We got so many hearts. So you can take some. What am I doing? I don't even need to fight this guy. Yeah, it looks hard. No, it's just a Stalfos, but it's like the door's right there. I don't I don't I don't have to I have a jar sitting on the switch, so I'm not gonna waste my time with them. Okay, so this guy, you don't need to equip anything, you just need your your, your sword and shield. Yeah, we actually fought him not that long ago. Just throw him like a bowling ball, basically. And like I said, it's just like the bit the uh the Bolossus boss fight in um uh, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, and kinda like the Bowser in Mario 64, you gotta throw with spikes. Yeah. Don't you blow your fire snot at me. He even made like a like a bowl, a bowling ball hitting the pin sound. That's hilarious. <laughs> so I like her having the hurricane spin though, because I can get the, the the little pose a lot eat a lot quicker. Come on, buddy. It's time to get bowled into another spike wall. I fucking missed. Shit. Yeah, I noticed. That light is disappearing a lot faster. Get. What is going on? I've never struggled this much with this. Take that, bitch. We gotta get him like five times. No. Yeah, each pillow you kill takes off a chunk of his health. Mm -hmm. Ugh, finally. I never had that much trouble with Jaw Hollow before. Mm, I mean, it's different. So, okay, we did the first half. Yeah, we're we're done with the boss gauntlet. So you want to split that up in two videos? Yeah, I'd say this is a good stopping point once this cutscene stops. Okay. All right, buddy, thanks for tuning in. We will see you all next time for the for part two of the Wind Waker finale. Awesome. We'll see you all next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and you all have a good one. God, this mask is hideous. <laughs> Be good.